Alright guys, this is an instructional video on how to um, get install the downloads that you'll need to be able to play on Horizon Professional Gaming Server. So, the first thing you'll need, let me see, you're going to need several things. You're going to need 7-Zip, which is a program that allows you to extract the files that you're going to download. So you're going to go to 7-Zip.org, you can see it right here. Um, you can just type 7-Zip into Google you see and you just go 7-zip and then you're going to download whatever version you need if you have 64-bit windows you download this one and then you have, if you have 32-bit windows you download this one okay so once you downloaded that then you should have 7-zip see you have it right here okay um, then you go to horizongaming.net that's spelled hcgaming.net you see and then you can go to, let me see here, you go to forums, click on forums, you click on, you go down here and then you go to the other game servers, you click on the Killing Floor thread, and then you go to Killing Floor file downloads, and then these are the ones that you're going to be downloading. The first five of the map pack, so one, two, three, four, five, and then KF required download. That's, those are, these are the only ones you download right here. Okay. Um, then the third thing that you need to do is you need to go into Killing Floor um, and into the Killing Floor folder. So you go to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Killing Floor. And these are the files that you're going to be working with right now primarily. All of these animations, cache, Karma data maps. Okay, so now you go ahead and you download the all five Mac packs and the KF required files download. Okay, so then once you've downloaded those, let me just make sure that they're all downloaded. So we're going to go to sort by type so I can see what they are. So you can see them all here. See they're all 7-zip files, that's why you need the 7-zip extraction program. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then there should be the fifth one. Let me see here. Just in case I don't have it, I'm going to re-download it. Should download quickly. Anyway, so once that's done, you're going to go into 7-zip and extract oh yeah I do have the mods download you see it's here so you're just gonna you know you're gonna open up the downloads section of your computer and then you're gonna click on the on the on each of the on one of the map packs on the first one because it's actually gonna combine them all you just have to click on the first map pack um, and just extract it out to your desktop would probably be the easiest thing to do and then you're gonna do the same thing for the mods download. So again, let me repeat. You download each of these map packs separately, but you only have to extract one of them, the first one, to your desktop because when you extract it, it's going to extract them all at the same time. That's just the way it's designed. And then you extract this one separately, the required files download. So let's go ahead and do that then. So we, so I go to one of my map packs, right? I'm, I think it's the first one. I don't know if it matters necessarily. And you hit 7-zip, extract files. See, so you just hit, you go to 7-zip and then you hit extract files. And then you're just going to tell it desktop. And hit OK. Oops, it's not working for some reason. see see this one is working I don't know why you could just gotta try each one of them so maybe it's not one separate one but you just gotta try each one of them but if you as long as you as long as you get one of the ones to work it should extract the whole thing you see this is this is all five of those map downloads because it's five gigabytes in total extracting onto my desktop
going to take a little bit. Okay, so I'm continuing. Uh, as you can see, I have extracted, I finally extracted the um, the maps, the 5 gigabyte maps folder onto my desktop. You see, it's got all the stuff that I need here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into 7-zip, and then i got to extract that final, you know, the, uh, what's it called? The KF required downloads. I still have to extract that. Question is, where is it? I believe this is it right here. Yeah, that's it. KF mods download. I think that's what it shows up as. Let me see here. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna go to KF mods download. That's what it shows up as. Um, you just hit extract files, and then you send it to the desktop. And then that should show up. You see, it's showing up right here. I can see it already. Exit out of all these, or just minimize them. It shows up as KF. So, you, so when you're done extracting, you should see two folders on your main desktop. KF Maps Server Number Three and KF Mods Downloads. It's kind of slow right now. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Okay, it's going a little faster now. Get out of this stuff so it goes faster. Okay, so now it's done. Um, so the main folder, I mean, I already showed you guys this earlier, but um, you're going to be working in, in C, you know, in program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, killing floor. I would even suggest, um, you know, when you go to common, I would suggest right clicking on killing floor and just sending it to the desktop as a shortcut. You see, you can send it to the desktop as a shortcut, then you'll have a shortcut. So I created two here by accident, but then... So you can, when you go out, you can just go right back in. So now you're going to be focusing on these two folders, um, and I believe you can combine them. I think they, I think they'll merge. Um, so you have to actually go in. Let's, so I'm going to do go. I'm going to go into KS mods download, and then I'm just going to drag them over like this. See, and then when it asks you to merge, say yes and do this for all the current items. And if it still doesn't work, even after you think you've merged them, you can always go into each of the files individually, copy everything, you know, just select everything, and then go to the corresponding folder in the killing floor, fo um, within the killing floor folder, and then just trench for them over here like this. Just drag them over if, if that, that fails. And then the same thing for the maps. You have to go through each of the, um, you have to go into the, yeah, the maps server number three, and then, let's see here. And then first, let's see, so you go to maps, into the file that you downloaded, and then you go into maps in, in the killing floor uh, archive folder, and you just drag them over. Um, either that or you can try to get it to merge. I'm not sure if it's going to merge or not, but I think it may. It may just merge if you just drag them over right here. See that? I think they will. Let me try. You see? It will. So just 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 drag them select all the folders within the the KF map server number 3 folder that you downloaded and just drag them over. Um and then that should be it. That should be all that you have to do. I think you just have to download a few more things, but that should be it. Let me know if you have any more questions.